This match was released in full on our Patreon. Our Patreon is the only way to watch all Purpose events in full. Thank you to these patrons who help support Purpose Wrestling and bring great pro wrestling to you. If you'd like to join them and support Purpose, visit PurposeWrestling.com slash VOD. Link in the description. Purpose Wrestling, made with love. Purpose Wrestling, that's a word. I, I know some words, you know, for a guy like me. Purpose, mad important word, I mean. Get you out of bed in the morning, you think about your purpose. You go to bed every night, you think about your purpose. It's such a powerful word, man. Not my purpose is. Mad Kurt is still in British Wrestling, bro. Hello, Purpose Wrestling. I'm Mad Kurt. And now you are telling me. There's two of them. Who's that? I want my stupid little brother because I couldn't find a babysitter and my ugly cow mum wouldn't have him. Dan Maloney with one arm powers Madka up and the driller. Dan Maloney. And if he's any kind of like professional wrestler, yeah, right. Get in the bin, Dan Maloney. That's where you belong. And Harry looks scared and he should be. Muscled up and just slammed onto the apron. And we both. Them drops, I cannot wait them again. They don't feel them drops out like coffee, baby. I'm yeah. coming back from the boy, 0121. We've got business to handle and we gotta slap people up, man. I'll see you soon, Purpose Wrestling, and I'll see you soon, Daniel Maloney. The other wreck, we just heard some passion from David Francisco. But now we've got to move on to another passion Dan Maloney's passion to get rid of the Chapman Brothers. I mean, what more can you say about these two children? that are about to come out probably that hasn't already been said. Other than, I'm just so, so disappointed there. The only thing I can say is we're not paid enough to pay this. We're not paid enough to talk about when I have a if I'm honest. Oh. Can I just say, I'm glad. After David Francisco slapped the crap out of America, Dan Maloney will probably do the same. I mean, I, I, I think I've said this before, Bobby, but honestly, who is this? Who is this? That? Who is that? That is Harry Chan. Oh, he's got a lot. I don't know, I thought he was like his sister or something. That's his brother. That is his little brother in a mind. Hey, I just... As with all brothers, the little brother's trying to steal the big brother's thing, the big brother doesn't like it. And, and, and it's mad that wearing pyjamas. Is that, is that the thing now too? Yeah, he wears... You know, he has trunks. He just doesn't like to wear them. He likes to uh, be snuggly because he's going to lay on the canvas for quite a while. So uh, he might as well be comfortable. These guys, these guys. Oh, here we go. Now we're, now we're talking. Business is picked up. I want you to be quiet as we listen to the reason we wrap the 0121 to the ring. Hit me with it. Let's go. Bobby, give me your best, your best toys. Cheese! Go, go. Cheese! Cheese! The crowd, obviously, the high one. I feel like it doesn't even need to be said, Bobby. I mean, the crowd are always behind the ring and down the line, but they're also always against the chapter. So it's just a perfect storm, isn't it? It's a perfect storm of what I can only assume will be slaps and pain, and I'm excited. Now, Maka already trying to wind up down the line. And you've, just, you've got to question the tactics, because 
what, what is the definition of madness? Though? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. And he does this over and over again with Damelo. And, and he gets drilled. And he gets drilled. He gets absolutely battered. It's, I just, the man's insane. Hence, I assume, mad cop. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Emily, but is there any chap laughing? Is he laughing in the face of Dan Maloney? Because that's probably the silliest thing I've ever seen someone do. Considering he held Harry Chapman at the top of the shot by the throat while he drilled. With one arm, with one arm, he drilled Mad into the mouth. Mad Cat is scared. And he's not wrong. Drake's is not wrong. Madka is good because not only has he got the face he's uh, well, somewhat nemesis down below him, he's got the best back of the have in the race. I mean, exactly. These two work so well as a team. I just, I, I really hope the Chapman brothers have done even a smidge of research on how they might be because it's not looking good. It's not really Chapman wearing crocs and socks. I mean, I've not checked, but I really hope they uh, I just really want to see him now get drilled out of his box as he saw from the microphone. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Why? No, no one, please don't put us through this. Grim shaking. Why? Damn alone, should not be in front of us. His own music. Oh my god, he's sick of Okay, he's got bars. He's yeah, got bars, yeah. but I'll let him have it. I'll let him way have it. better than I thought it would be. Yeah, way better. Begrudgingly, I give that a thumbs up. I assume he practiced at home all the time. I think that was definitely many hours spent at home. The only one too here, deciding, I think, who's going to start this match. I think they're reeling from that rapper from last point. I think they've left the ring in shock. They're lyrically dominating. I think we possibly to restarting here. Oh, is this? Oh, I mean, if this becomes a wrap, I mean, that's totally. Should we get in there? I think we could do. How's your? How are your I bars? Have, I have zero bars. Zero. I have potentially two. So two. I think we'll do well. We'll do better than the chapter. So. Now the small child with the cake is there. We've got dance moves, Harry. We've got dance moves. We don't have any more words. <laughs> I'm just surprised that Harry Chapman's voice is that deep, to be honest. I didn't even realise it was his voice had broken. Yeah, he hit you with yesterday. Did he? Yeah. Oh, well done, Harry. <laughs> and what? Well, Minecraft? He's banging on about Minecraft now. Oh, no. Because he's a child. Yeah, he's a loser. 
Cruz, I bet he goes to the gym instead. <laughs> yeah, look at him. Of course he goes to the gym instead of playing Minecraft. He's having to get the one up. That's actually a fact. You've got to be careful around Kurt, honestly. Was that? Oh, I think Mrs. Chapman's on the line. I think uh, Mrs. Chapman called Mrs. just as uh, just as Harry was showing him. Oh, Maloney sidesteps, sends Kurt out. <laughs> and unfortunately, a miscommunication has occurred and the child is hurt. Kurt went to elbow drop Harry's phone. And Harry dived in the way to save his phone. What a grin of a slam! And with ease, Bobby, that's the worrying thing. With ease. Kurt weighs all of 80 pounds. Not only just picked him up and threw him across the ring. And now Doris is in and I think Matt Kurt is in a world of trouble. The second the 0121 decided to take this seriously, they were in trouble. Ooh, Ooh. just a nice, tight little fist to the gut. <laughs> Doris now insulting Kurt's pyjamas. Kurt, sh shot to the gut. Look to send Doris off to the ropes, but Doris just too strong. Yeah. Well, Kurt not strong enough. <laughs> no, I think that. An important clarification is that Kurt is about as strong as a leaf on the wind. So, Doris, what a back oh. elbow! In the space of about a meter, turns round and smashes Kurt in the face. Oh, that was naughty. Yeah, and for those who don't know, uh, you can get Doris's merch at the table or any of the other purpose shows that Doris is on. Uh, very reasonable, very good quality. Man like Del Boy, always shilling his wares. Always, always hustling. Sends Kurt into the corner, Doris stomping the gut of Mary Kurt. Dan Maloney enjoying every minute of it on the apron there, love it. I like how Dan doesn't need to be the one inflicting punishment on Kurt to enjoy it. I think he enjoys it more when even he isn't doing it. Oh, what a Superman punch! The jaw of Mary Kurt is on the other side of his face. Doris is enjoying himself a lot. I'm not sure if you noticed as well, Bobby. I don't think I've ever seen someone more unwilling to be tagged in at this moment in time than Harry Chapman is. He's kind of, yeah, he's kind of lolling in the corner, a nonchalant cover there. Calling, calling for a timeout. Not really that. I don't think he wants any of it. Don't oh, really get timeouts in pro wrestling. Oh, Look, Kurt oh, now no. stuck in his own shirt. Slapped to the chest. That sound of the pigeon chest echoing out through the library. I think you thought Matt Kurt's chest wouldn't be any more caved in, and he just did. Sending Kurt outside, wrapped in his own shirt. Now, do you notice the only two one? You know, normally a tag team will cut the ring in half, try to be precise. Oh, the kid now slapping the gut of Matt Kurt. The crowd asking for one more go. Mad Kurt calling for a timeout to the kid. Uh, to reach now, adding Kurt's shirt to his merchandise table. 
Now the kid get one more chance and a chop to the stomach. Kurt sent back in the ring. But what I was going to say is normally a tag team would employ a lot of tactics to cut the ring in half. That one too, one I bothered. I don't think they're that bothered if Kurt tags in Harry. I mean, have you seen one tag team have more fun than the A1-2-1 are having right now? Bobby? Kurt trying to fight back. Sends Doris into the corner. What an impressive right forearm. Look to send Doris across the ring. Doris too athletic, too powerful. Running European uppercut. Looks to send Kurt across, Kurt reverses, Doris floats up and over, off the ropes, runs through a clothesline and gives him a clothesline on his own. The power of a man like Doris. Now, Kurt and Harry do like to do an impression of their certain favourite wrestler and I think um, the a one 2 did it better. <laughs> and now I think the a one 2 not really bothering with, uh, with tags. Oh, I was... Chapman Brothers sneaking in. Harry, just double axe handed to Therese, that didn't seem to do anything. Not phased, Therese, did he, really? Therese is stepping off of the turnbuckle while both Chapman brothers are hitting him. Oh, now Kurt oh. rakes the eyes, now there we go, that will be effective. Yeah. That will certainly do the job. No matter who does that, that's going to hurt. Mad Kurt deployed IRA, it was effective. Oh no. Showing Doris the merch stand. Doris knows the merch stand very well. Slams his head off it. Reeling off to the bar. But they say they're about to, Is he going outside? Oh, straight out. Of, he's onto the streets of Wimbledon. My goodness. Now, Dan Maloney left alone in the ring. I have to say, he doesn't look that concerned. I was about to say, normally a, a concerning situation to be in a 2 and one in a professional wrestling tag team match, but um, Dan Maloney not, uh, not looking too phased. Now, the Chapman brothers, either side of the ring. Now, I think Dan Maloney's saying a time up, but I think he's uh, doing that with a bit of tongue-in-cheek. I mean, this would certainly be a good way to lure both of them in, wouldn't it? Kurt down Maloney if he gives up. Something tells me that he probably won't. No. Oh! They call for it. He delivers. Double choke slam. Chop to Kurt. Chop to Harry. Chop to Kurt. And one more for Harry. Takes him off his feet. Kurt turned inside out. Doesn't know where he is. Just got him in that lift. I think he's just going to throw him. Yeah, overhead throw. Just like it was a sandbag, my goodness. Now going in for that pin, this has got to be over. <laughs> I think, Bobby, that was the first pin of this entire match. Oh, Dan going for another one. Oh. Lifted cut up at one. He's having a lot of fun. And so are we. And so are we, Bobby. Has Doris got... Doris has got snacks. I think he's been to the shop. I think he has been to the shop. Oh, he's got a couple of sandwiches, couple some, of sandwiches water. some water. I mean, look, it's hard work. When you're throwing that many chops and that many punches over and over, it's thirsty work. Yeah, and what would be more satisfying than a sandwich? Punching that cup. You need to refuel them, it's important. You got oh, to no. oh, I think. Uh, he's missed his mouth there. <laughs> oh, and I think it may have just gone all over the mouth there. And then just uh, one for Harry, just for good luck. Kurt trying to fight back with shots to the chest. We saw how effective this was oh. against David. David. Oh no! I think, I think, I think, I think I, for a second I thought they were working. I think Maloney might be playing games. Oh dear. I think when Amira took him to the chest it did more damage and he didn't look phased then. for the first time in the match. Kurt, was he looking for a slap there? Is, is he just holding Maloney in place? Oh, that's it. Did cross body. Bouncing off of a wall like a rubber ball. That poor child. Maloney now just powering up Harry. Body slam. This is what you get for wrestling in Crocs. 
That means he'll give Dereese a little go. It's, un it's unfair for Dereese to have to sit and just watch, isn't it? Well, I mean, he's been fueled by it. He's had his water, he's had his sandwich, he's ready to go. Now we get out. What's some more? Has Dereese got in mind right now? Oh, just calling his chest down. Just calling his chest yeah. I'm not sure if you heard, his chest was on fire. Oh, after those shots from Dan Maloney. Mm. Dereese sent Harry in. Oh! Oh! Vicious, throwing him into the corner turnbuckle. Oh, my God. Dereese kips up. It's almost like Dereese is pretending to take them out seriously just for the fun of it. <laughs> Mad cat telling his, uh, telling his little brother that he's actually fine just to shake it off after being brutally thrown through the ropes into the corner. The last time you hear it, it talks about the square turnbuckles we've got here at Purpose. Now, I think uh, as much fun as this been, I think Harry may be in quite a bit of pain. I do, yeah, I do, th I do now feel slightly sorry for the child uh, after potentially separating her shoulder by hitting that, uh, that ring post there. Shot to the chest of the snap there, Dereese taking hold of the leg. What's he looking for here? Oh, and Take, thank God! Taking the croc off. The crocs are off, finally. Oh no. A smack with a slipper. Reminds him of when he was younger with Mrs. Chapman, I believe, when he was a naughty boy. Yeah, younger, he got that yesterday. Yesterday, before, just before his voice broke. Tagging Maloney oh. back in, and Maloney's got the croc. Oh, I oh, there was Did an eye ring. Was there an eye ring there? From the or again, is it another case of a uh, playing possum? I'm not. You can never too tell with these cheeky scamps. The A121. What a flip over from Dereese. Just I think casually he, showing his athleticism. I think he might have been alright. I think yeah. it might not have been a been an actual eye ring. Now you got the feeling the A121 could finish this whenever they fancy. They're just enjoying themselves a bit much. And I, I think the Chapman brothers certainly aren't enjoying themselves very much at all. A few months ago when Dereese said, I've got some unfinished business, I didn't realise the business would be this fun. No, not at all. Oh, ends a Guri with a crux in the face, thick rubber sole, drop kick, and some athleticism there from Harry Chapman. Though he didn't land on the back, that was what got what made contact with the turnbuckle post. Dereese is a bit rocked here though, Bobby. I mean, for as much fun as they were having, I think they took their eye off the ball for a split second there. They might be in trouble. I don't know. Tags in down below. In comes Maka. Oh! Maka, what a clothesline. And another one. Kurt is fired up. I don't think Kurt can even believe that he's uh, he's achieving what he's achieving right now. Sending Maloney into the corner. Oh! Back body drop. Now, Kurt has had a, he's had a lot of insults from Maloney, not taking him seriously, and, you know, he is fired up. Head first into the corner, splash. Maloney now. On jelly legs. And the flip flop and the fall to the floor. Kurt thinks he's in control. Oh, now this is I mean, that, yeah, that was. You poked, you poked the bear there, I think didn't that, you, Kurt? You poked the bear. I think that last one was maybe a bit too much. Now Maloney letting Kurt, what is he going to do? Is he going to allow him to strike him? I think he might be here. Pathetic slap to the chest. Now Maloney giving Shawn Michaels a run for his money with the uh Damn Maloney firing up here, pushing through the pain, Bobby, I believe. It could, it could be too much for him. He could give up. It's like watching Eddie Kingston and Kubashi. How on earth? Is Dan Maloney still standing? Oh no. Oh, Kurt begging, begging for a choke slam. I've got no, no, so oh, for a slam. Kurt lured him in. Was he looking for maybe a two of the world DDT? Oh! Now that one did land on the mark. Right on he? Done. Kicks out at two. Matt Kurt nearly had Dan Maloney there. Oh, Bobby, I thought that was it. I genuinely thought that was it. Hot in my throat. A lot of Mad Kurt's offense is a surprise. He lures you in with the silliness. No. Oh, a Canadian destroyer and his brother. A brother, a brother assisted. Together, both Chapman brothers. Dereese, Tobey over the top. Breaks up that cover, but that would have been, I think that could have been it. The weight of both brothers 
and the Canadian destroyer. Dan Maloney could have been done. I think Dan Maloney was very lucky that Doris was still at his wits about him and did that over the top right sent on there. I think. I think Doris is now realising he might need to take it a bit more seriously than he was. Looking to uh, launch Harry up and come down with a cutter. Harry with the running knee. Dan uh -oh. Looking for the driller. Harry slides out the back, looking for a backslide. Two and. Ooh, Maloney just kicks out. Look for a DD. No, roll through for a pin. Maloney up, looks for that clothesline. Chapman with another roll through. I can't believe it was only a two. Maloney is reeling. I mean, I don't blame him. A succession of three very quick and very technically proficient pins there. But Dan Maloney, oh. Now, now the driller's coming. Oh dear. The driller, it is over. Somebody call somebody to help the child. He might be dead. And it's over. He's now dead. He's one. definitely dead. Call Mrs. Chapman. They need a lift. To the hospital. And do you think Dan Maloney finally feels vindicated in trying to get back out of British wrestling? I mean, it's hard to say, Bobby, because obviously that didn't actually happen to Mad Kurt. Mad Kurt is still loose somewhere in the arena, in the vicinity. He could still be a play upon British wrestling. I would argue that Dan Maloney and Mad Kurt are destined to do this for him. If Mad Kurt's a play, I think Dan Maloney might be the vaccine. And I think we may have a driller in Mad Kurt's future. Another, another driller. We can only hope, Bobby. We can only hope. But maybe we're not too sensitive to it. Hello, purpose professional wrestling. I'm Mad Kurt, and this right here is Harry Chapman, and we just went to war with the 0121. And you know what that means, don't you? That means we wiped the floor with the 0121. So the next time I'm here in Purpose Professional Wrestling, and I guess little Harry can come too, I want to know who your best is, who your strongest is. I want to know who could possibly step to Mad Kurt. Bring it on. Do, 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 do. And that is it from March of the Dogs here at Merton Art Space. Purpose Wrestling will return next month for our anniversary show everything i love is going to die the wxw champion tristan archer debuts against the driller dan maloney what a hell of a debut bobby and what a hell of a match for it to be in i think we're gonna see some bombs thrown in that match fresh off her championship win in japan alex windsor returns to purpose next month to face Kira Kamira. One of the best wrestlers, not just women's wrestlers, but one of the best wrestlers in this country facing probably the best up and comer that this country has to offer. And you've just heard it here. The challenge has been accepted. Next month, Rio takes on the OJMO. The OJMO said he isn't a pervert, but I guess we'll find out when Rio batters him to death. And at everything I love is going to die, the Purpose one year anniversary show, we decide the first ever Purpose Wrestling Champion. Jordan Brakes takes on Connor Mills in a rematch of probably the greatest ever main event we've had here at Merton Art Space next month. All roads, Bobby, have led to this. It all comes to a head. But the question is, Bobby, is it ever going to be a fair fight when all the members of Destination everywhere are involved? I guess we're just going to have to find out at the next show. Everything I Love is Going to Die. Our anniversary show takes place on Friday the 12th of August at the Merton Art Space in Wimbledon, London. Tickets now on sale at the link in the description. Thank you for watching Purpose Wrestling on YouTube. Please like, share and subscribe.